A beautiful Jamaica high to everybody on this earth. Yeah, I like that one. I hope she does too. Now, I'm screwed up. See, I'm snooze around here. And it rained last night, man. Everything's got wet. Yeah, I got rained on. Shit. Woke up in the middle of the night in my underwear trying to put on my rain fly because it was a beautiful sky. When I went to bed, beautiful stars. Yeah, I got soaking wet, but it kind of felt good. I just crawled back in my sleeping bag, freezing real cold, and just laid in it soaking wet. Said, hell with it. I'm going to go back to bed. Now, where I'm at, I'm in the state of St. Mary. I thought the city was St. Mary down the road, but it's Anado Bay. Anato, they could, they spell Anado, that's how they pronounce it, but it's Anato Bay. A-N-O-T-T-O-A, -T -T -O I don't know what the hell to spell it, man, it's a weird name. But, so I'm an hour away from Kingston. And it's only two minutes away from Anato Bay in the taxi. They say it's about, about less than an hour to walk to Anato Bay if I walked. They said it's a nice walk. So my next video, we are going to go to the beach after he cleans his yard up. Cleans what yard is. Yeah, it's kind of messy. I'm going to chew his ass out, man. Go, what the hell's going on, man? But, uh, yeah, man, it, it's pretty sad. I don't want to... Okay, I'll show you, all right? He needs to clean up his yard. I'm going to help him do it. But I need a trash bag. And I'm just going to pick up his trash for him, dump it right there. That's my, that's my next job. That's the way he'll be happy. He'll go, man, you, I got a clean front yard. And he says, well, this is going to be some of my businesses here. Because like I said in my last video, he offered me to have a place to live at. I said, can I build a house? And when I'm gone, you just rent it out to somebody. And he laughs at me. He goes, hell yeah. So I'll show you where. I think I'm going to build my place. Don't be Now he told me, he goes, people don't build in bamboo because when the hurricanes come, it blows the houses away. And I said, man, are they building them right? Uh, man, yeah, I just, I know, man, I've seen bamboo houses in Venice and Mexico. In the Gulf of Mexico, man, they're just doing it all the time. When Mongols are ready, they fall on the ground. Looks like they've already hit the Mongol tree, but that looks like a good Mongol to hit. Now this is where I think I'm going to put my prop, my house right here. See that area? You got this view, and I'm going to put. He says all this is his land. I think that's the only place where you can do it at, right here. Once you get lower here, you don't see that view. And I told my friend, I says, what we need to do is build huts here. Bamboo huts. Build bamboo huts here. Build more bamboo huts with, with patios, all right? With a balcony, so everybody can sit out there and enjoy the view. <clears throat> I think right here is where my spot's going to be. Look at that view. You imagine just waking up every morning and you're seeing this. 
going, I like life. But I need a place to live at six months out of the year. Because six months out of the year, there's nothing to do in Mexico. And too cold for me. So if I can build a really nice, big bamboo house right here. They say the hurricane's blown away. That's the reason why they got on the concrete. I just like the idea about the bamboo, having gaps in it and letting that air just blow inside all day, all night, inside your house. You have a mosquito net that protects you from the mosquitoes. You got a root system probably right about here. God, I just want to build a nice little cot right here. I was hoping to build it down here, but you can't. This place right here. I've got this view, perfect view. Gorgeous view. And you got that one tree, which will accidentally fall down one day. <laughs> Meaning, no, I was just joking. I wouldn't kill a tree. Why would I kill a tree for? Well, that tree goes down, though. That one tree goes down. You'd have the most beautiful view to look at. Well, maybe I'll get lucky in the next hurricane blow that tree down. <laughs> I'm going to go up to the guy and go, How much for this tree? <laughs> okay. Cut it down. Chop up the wood. Use the wood for things. That's a beautiful tree to really kill. I can really, that tree makes it beautiful, but... Gosh, man, what a view. So tell me if you'd want to stay in a bamboo hut for, for $10 a night. Smoke all the ganja you can smoke. Well, I say, I'll take that back. You can find all the ganja you can smoke. Not all the ga free ganja you can smoke. No, hells no, man. I already, man, I went through probably in 10 days, 11 days, I went through them. Man, I don't know. Nine ounces, maybe. I had an ounce yesterday and it's all gone. I just leave it on the table and everybody just grabs it. Which, respect. I, I do have some shitty ass weed I bought from a grower yesterday. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what, my next video, when we take off, I did find a marijuana field, a crop, a plantation that the, that the Jamaican police invaded, raided, uh, a couple weeks ago I'll show you the evidence and what they left behind and I'm glad they left some plants behind because I went ahead and bought them so uh, I'll show you the plants okay well there you go bamboo cottage cottage is built all up there just little teeny bungalows Turn around, be able to sleep for a night, take a shower, go shit, place to smoke marijuana, place to eat at. In the center of, you know, they say uh, Mystic Mountain is like 45 minutes away from here. Kingston's an hour away. Two minute taxi drive, which only costs one dollar, and get you into town. It's about two minute drive. One hour's walking distance if you don't want to spend a dollar or two dollars. There's a taxi service right up here if you need one. Don't know how much he's available, but they have a phone number.
me living here. I can see that. I can see me investing my gun in buildings. Even building like five cottages. One here, one there, one there, one there, probably nine. Just on this little mountain. Overlooking each other. Cheap. Just gotta find the bamboo. And they say it's just right over the mountain. And they say I can build a house probably less than 2,000 USA dollars. So, for $2,000 for a bamboo house, I think someone buys me a bamboo house and builds one. I never slept in a bamboo house. Seen them, seen them, never slept in one. But I can imagine what the bamboo separated where the air would blow in the mosquitoes would be flying in but you'd be inside of a mosquito net in your bed won't have to worry about that until you wake up in the morning <laughs> they'd be flying all over you but uh, put a fan inside there each hut will have its own fan so that way the fan Makes mosquitoes not want to stick around. My mess house. Well, guys, gonna say good morning to everybody. Morning, everybody. <laughs> that's his, uh, his nephew, that's the uncle that owns this place. So, uh, this is what we're gonna be eating today. Aki. Aki. It's pretty good, guys. If you ever have a chance to eat Aki, man, it's pretty good. And they have the Aki trees all over this place. It's not, this is not an Aki tree. I was just looking. I was trying to find you one. Here's an Aki tree right here. So what it does is it opens up. Yeah, I made another video. I'm sorry. I made another video showing you a red apple. And uh, I thought it was an Aki tree. Like a dumb... Oh, no. I was eating a red apple. And I said, you, you can eat these seeds in a red apple. You can't. It's this plant. So what it does is it... When it's ripe, it opens up. And that's how... That's when they pick them. But they're all closed right now. So they wait until they open up and then they pick them. And this is the harvest season right now. And everybody's eating Aki. And I had Aki and chicken last night. And I swear, if you put bacon inside there, you would think you was eating almost, almost it looks like eggs when it's cooked. It's, but it just dissolves in your mouth. It, it just blows me away. It looks like an egg, but it just dissolves in your mouth. Real soft, chewy. People who have no teeth would love this food. And I've never seen Aki in the United States or in Mexico. And believe it or not, Aki only goes in this area of Jamaica. That blows me away. All right, next up, marijuana crop. Marijuana field. Not that many marijuana plants, okay? And they're just in the budding season, believe it or not, June. I think it's June 17th, maybe, today. There's the Indian. I'm raking. That's his name. <laughs> I'm raking up, though. Yeah, I'm going to go clean his front yard for him. Since this is my house, too, for a little while. I'm gonna get rid of all this shit, man. That's that's some fucking bad shit. I'm gonna pick it all up for them. Haul it to the dumps. All they're gonna do is just dump it on the side of the mountain anyway. Looks the same. Well, remember everybody. Love each other like the Rastafires do or the Jamaicans do to have peace on this earth.
or love each other like the hippies do to have peace on earth. There's my shitty marijuana. Not the best shit, guys. This is really fucking some shit weed. This guy just he got paranoid and he harvested the rest of his plants while they were young, thinking the cops were going to come back and just take his plants when they were ready, full grown, like it happened to him earlier. But I'll talk more about the crop field when you go see it. There's one marijuana plant I'll blow you away. So, see you says in my next video. I promise you that. I got work to do.